Hi everybody, welcome to today's Revitalize Reconnect Meet, where I get the opportunity to meet a business entrepreneur, a key influencer from across the UK business community. And today I've got the great pleasure to have a good catch up with a gentleman on the story so far on his business journey. This gentleman has had previous roles as an operations manager, a recruitment consultant, a property developer, and of course, like I said earlier, an entrepreneur. He's got three unique selling points, and I'd like to let you all know, a did you know about this? They offer solutions, not products. They care about their customers after they complete the job, and they're honest with their advice, authentic and genuine in everything that they do for their business clients across the UK. He's been in business now for over two years. Can you please welcome today the one, yes, but the only, Mr. Emmanuel Howell from the Howe Group UK. Emmanuel, how are you today? I'm great, thanks, Lee. How are you? I'm very well indeed, thank you. And thank you so much for coming back to Revitalize Reconnect Meets to explain your story so far. Pleasure to be back. Thanks for having uh, me. Super, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, could we all start by you sharing with everybody who's listening and watching today a bit about How Group UK? Yeah, thanks, Lee. So, yeah, as many people will know, um, the How Group has come about from, I guess, a collection of other businesses um, that all sort of intertwined in a way, and it was a way to be able to bring it together and position it more as a one-stop shop for most things property-related. So, you know, I guess the, the foundation of it was always Energy How, which was a renewable energy installer. I say was, it still is a renewable energy installer. So focused on renewable heating and you know, generation. And we have a few staff members now within that business, which are helping grow in the different divisions for the domestic and commercial markets. And then tying in with that, um, as many people may know, I've recently um, joined in partnership with Pillow Partners and we're doing a lot of the property management um, across Lanarkshire, mainly for serviced accommodation. So we thought it tied in well to be able to do that. And then we have Cowman Property Services, which offers all the maintenance and repairs for those properties, but also we can roll that out for other landlords and property developers and again, commercial buildings. And then we also launched Utility How earlier this year, you know, so to support businesses, which I guess was quite timely because then with the, the great pause, as we'll call it, you know, many businesses were focused on trying to save money and Utility How was set up to do just that by helping you, you know, review your gas, electric and water costs. Definitely. I think it's wonderful you say the great pause. I love that. It's a lovely way of looking at it, actually, the great pause in business. Um, you've had some great successes. You've had some phenomenal achievements, especially with the way you've just mentioned there. You've expanded the team, and we'll talk about that in a, a little while or so. But I wanted to touch on an achievement and successes that you've had in the last two years, and especially the way you've grown your business over the last two years. Would you mind sharing that success story of where you've gone from zero to I'll let you share? Yeah, well, yeah, I started the business... I guess, out of a desire to be able to deliver the right, right service for customers, because initially I was passing jobs over to other installers, but the customers just weren't getting the right level of service. So in August, 2018, I decided to set up and took a good few months going through the different accreditations and getting set up. But yeah, it was just myself, you know, I was, I was the salesman, the admin assistant that, you know, you name it, I, I did it, you know, and yeah, it took a lot of, lot of hard work. You know, I was doing long hours, you know, my partner will tell you, she, she never saw me, <laughs> you know, she just, just felt the side of the bed and knew I'd been there, you know, because <laughs> most days you were in at midnight, back out at 5am and that was seven days a week. But you know, yeah, it, it's helped grow the business um, in just, just over two years now, or just coming up to two years in the business you know i think officially we've, we've now touched close on 1.7 million this year in terms of turnover and you're know, aiming for 2.5 next year and going to continued growth year by year so yeah it's it's looking promising and yeah i'm enjoying the, the journey i guess 
Well, congratulations. It takes a big, a big dedication, mindset, driven, focused. And I mean, it, you're that type of character yourself, really. Um, I want to touch on briefly because you've had, you must have that motivation. What was your mindset? Would you mind sharing with everybody? Listen, I want to find a bit more about your mindset between those two years. What was your driver, you know, to do those sort of longer hours, but to hit that achievement? Um, I guess part of it came from, so previous, I've had previous businesses and I've seen that, you know, yes, the hard work can pay off. Um, you know, my, my first business, you know, grew, grew quite well and then was affected by the, the property market crash in 2008, you know, but yeah, it's, it's that mindset knowing that I wanted to do more Um, you know, had my partner and um, now got a young son and was planning a family. So it was just knowing that I had to put the work in while I could to then be able to reap the benefits later on and I guess grow, grow a larger legacy, you know, so partly for the actual desire to want to, to help people when it comes to your know, renewable energy and being more sustainable for our future, but also, you know, being able to build that business that can then sort of give back. Yeah. I think what you've done as well, you don't want me saying this, you've kept the momentum going. You've always kept the momentum consistently, persistently, moving forward all the time you just kept taking them on kept pushing forward on so thank you for sharing that manuel thank you very much with all the achievements um you know what would be your if you could cast your mind back two years ago and you met a budding entrepreneur like your good self back then what would you share with somebody who's looking to start their business what golden tip of advice would you say listen this is what i did I would like to share this with you right now. What would you share with somebody out there that's listening who's ready to start their own business? I guess there's a few sayings which I guess have always stuck with me over the years. And they're actually sayings people have said to me. Um, but one, one main one, which I actually have tattooed on my arm, is, is a saying that says, if difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. You know? And it's just that mindset of you, know, you never give up and you keep going. And it's also the mindset of being able to, I guess, shut out the outside negativity at times you know because some people even with good intentions it could be people as close to you as family or partner but sometimes they may not see the same vision as you and if you believe in yourself you know because it's something that somebody said to me once was when someone says something's impossible it means it's impossible for them you know and it doesn't you know and you know your own ability and it's also looking at the word impossible in a different light you know because if you split it up it says i'm possible you know and you can actually really do that so just believing in yourself, I think, but also setting your foundation, so making sure you set your processes and fully plan your journey. I think that's great that it's I'm possible and looking at it a different way. Um, everyone looks as a half glass empty type, you know, phrase we hear that so much. Um, but I think you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in what you're delivering and you have to deliver that with purpose regularly. Um, some great content. Thank you for sharing that. I think many people will be using many of those as they move forward. Over the last 11 weeks, we've all got into a different type of, as we say, a new normal completely. And many businesses have diversified their sort of delivery, their product, their service, um, how they conduct their business as we're, you know, we're now talking virtually online. How have you diversified your business for not just yourself, but also the team that you're bringing on board now? How has that changed for you? Well, I think I briefly touched on it in our intro, but you know, yes, widening the, the product offering or product and service offering so we can support on a, on a higher level, mm -hmm. um, particularly for businesses. Um, as I say, been in business myself for, for, for well, 15 years now in one way, shape or form. And it's yeah, understanding that, there are going to be the struggles. So if we can really support from everything sort of energy related, that really helps. But also looking at the ongoing support thereafter. You know? So again, one of the, I think the USPs you know, of caring about people after you've done the job. There's so many, as they'll call them, you know, one hit wonders where they will do the job, brilliant communication and service until they get the money and then they forget about you. But it's understanding that a customer it is actually your, your biggest form of advertising. Yeah. So you need to then of course look after them thereafter. So that, yeah, it's instilling that because when the general forms of advertising sort of disappeared over the past 11 weeks, 
in terms of actually being able to see people face to face as much. It's looking at what other ways you can do that and tapping into the people that you've got there. Yeah. And using that as a, I guess, a referral stream to grow the business. But you're also then taking yourself out of any sort of competition by doing that. Yeah, because you're not competing on anything such as price, etc. You offer a quality and you start to stand in the league of your own. Yeah. How do you, I mean, so you've just touched on that briefly as well, Emmanuel, is that it, reviewing and suggestions and feedback, or we've talked about even off camera as well, just before we started today, is that, do you have something in place now that you can actually gauge customer feedback and react upon that quite quickly? Well, yes. So, yeah, yeah. Um, well, thanks to yourself, Lee, actually, because um, it's through, through through your network and through Revitalize. I was actually able to meet Ian Shapiro of Promaze. And yeah, that was one thing we sort of fell short on. As much as I always valued customer feedback and I always spoke to them, there was no way for new customers to really see you know, the quality of work that we were doing and what we would, and what, how our customers felt about us. Yeah. So yeah, we've, we've launched the Promaze Reputation Management System. And now as jobs are starting to start to go back to normal, you know, you'll start to see more of that across our social media and on our websites. Absolutely superb. I mean, also visibility, because you've got the team going out and about there and it was just you at the beginning. Yeah. You know, so visibility is probably key as well. And I've noticed you've been advertising a lot. Has, has that made a, a bigger impact in regards of being visible further? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I know the other day, actually, I was, I was in a local shop and, you know, Somebody said they'd seen my advert on the TV, you know, <laughs> because I had a branded T-shirt on. And it's, yeah, it is, it is good to know that it's getting out there and you are becoming more visible. Because as you say, whereas before, I never even had a social media presence, let alone anything else. So. I think it's when you start getting the, people start recognizing a brand yeah. and they start connecting the dots together, that it starts to be, you know, it's visible quite regularly. And if it's yeah. in someone's mind, it's always remembered. If it's out of sight, it's out of mind, that type of old phrase to it. So yes. superb. thanks for sharing that, Emmanuel. Thank you very much. So with everything that's going on with the achievements, your goals you're looking to, to, to set and, uh, and achieve as well, but also the team you're bringing on, what's next for Emmanuel? I mean, you've got a lot going on. You've achieved a lot on your package and the platforms just now. What's the next level? For you, is it in the next five years, ten years, twenty years? Well, yeah, the whole the whole idea behind the team, and I'm sure they won't mind me sharing this, but um, the whole reason for the main key hires I've made initially is for them to then be able to grow their respective divisions into their own business. Yeah, you know? and this is where sort of I guess the idea of the group then came from for the how group to then be able to grow that and have the respective divisions who are supporting that. So yeah, continued growth, allowing the different divisions, you know, to then be able to recruit beneath them, to then grow the teams and yeah, widen the offering. So for the domestic market, for example, we tried to keep more regionalized within Scotland and North of England. So starting to roll that out further afield and then build up different, you know, sort of I guess subdivisions and headquarters in different areas geographically across the country. Taking over the world, Emmanuel. One yeah, step at a yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leaving a quiet space for me to relax. Yes, yeah. Get other people doing it. You can, yeah. you can enjoy that by sitting by the beach and enjoy it. the company is still working for you. Yeah. Um, with everything we've all shared today on hearing and, and watching us today, how can anybody get in touch with you and the How Group UK team? What's the best port of contact to make it with yourself, Emmanuel? Yeah, well, for people who want to learn more, um, probably our Facebook page is the most interactive way. So if you go and just type in Energy How UK, you can learn a lot more about different products, services we offer. And if anyone wants to get in direct contact, you can email me directly, which is emmanuel at howgroupuk.com. Or as many people will know through the Revitalized Network, you know, we also have our domestic sales manager, Jamie Cooper. You know, so again, you can reach him at jamie at energyhowuk.com. Yeah. Or if anyone who wants to be old fashioned, you can pick the phone up. It's 0800 772 0131. I love the way we now say old fashioned. Pick up the phone and speak to me. The good old fashioned way. Wow. 
compared to what we used to do with now it's with zoom and can we organize a zoom call you know and that type of thing so thank you very much well emmanuel thank you so much for speaking with me today and, and sharing your story so far and you know it's been great to hear and actually see your journey sort of expanding and growing in real time as you've been part of the revitalized business club so thank you for being an integral part uh, as a member to everybody and i look forward to supporting you further as we go forward into your expansion as well um i hope you have a, a wonderful rest of the day and thank you very much for your time today really appreciate it thank you lee thanks for the support you're more than welcome and i would highly recommend that if you have any questions and you've liked what you've heard today reach out to manual start the conversation have that meeting learn something about each other that you can help each other out that business exchange thanks to manuel thank you to you for listening and watching today and i look forward to welcome everybody back to the next episode of Revitalize Reconnect Meets, where of course, I get the opportunity to meet a business owner and business entrepreneur from across the UK business community. Thanks again, keep safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.